Hi guys, welcome to Studio Wildlife. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint realistic tiger fur. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, so give it that thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. It really means so much to us. So, as most of you know, tigers are my favourite animal to paint, and I've had loads and loads of requests off you guys to show you basically how I paint my tiger fur in a little bit more detail. I've got two videos for this. I've got one that I'm showing you now that you're watching, and that is a shorter version, a quick, easy guide. I have a full 45 minute video that you can go and download from my website, studiowildlife.com. I go through my entire process in real time and voice over the whole thing as I'm doing it. So it's almost like painting with me live. Anyway, for this one, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you use these skills that you learn from this video to paint your own tigers. If you do, please make sure to tag me in them and show me what you create using my tips by tagging me on Instagram at dwilsonarts. I look forward to seeing what you can create. Anyway, let's get started. Start by drawing out your stripes and then just do a burnt sienna wash over the top with a one inch flat brush and then block in the stripes using black. I used a mix of burnt umber and blue to make a more natural black. Once the stripes are in, block in the rest of the painting with a dark burnt umber wash and then work over the top with some slightly lighter orange. Refine the stripes a little more, adding black to them, following the direction of the fur. Add a mix of burnt sienna and burnt umber, and paint using a round brush the direction of the fur. This does not have to be perfect at this stage, this is just there as a guideline for later on. Add some yellow to the mix for areas of white fur. Next, using burnt sienna and a little bit of white, add some lighter streaks of fur. Make sure not to draw these in individually and just clump them together at this stage. Make sure to follow the direction of fur as closely as possible. For the white strands, just add some white and some yellow, and do exactly the same thing as you did for the rest of the body. Drawing those fur strands in, following the direction of the fur from your reference photo. Next, using a small detail brush, and some burnt sienna and some lighter white, I block in the rest of the fur shapes, again, not being too specific, but adding a little bit more detail than before. I'm making sure to leave space between the fur and vary the direction of each strand to show the fur underneath and give the impression of layers. Repeat this process all over the body. Adding some more yellow and white to your mix, add some lighter fur on top. Follow the shape of the fur that you've already put down, making sure to leave gaps to still allow that first layer of fur to show through. Again, repeat this process all over the body. Make sure to use shorter brush strokes where it's short fur, and make sure to use longer brush strokes where there is longer fur.
for the whiter areas for fur now we want to add some white some blue and some yellow together to the orange to make a sort of grey colour. Then following the same process with that detail brush fill in strands of fur to add a little bit of detail and shape to your painting. Once that first layer is done, add some more white to your paint and repeat the process, making sure to leave lots of gaps between the fur to show all of the layers underneath. Next, add some yellow, some burnt sienna and more white to your mix to create the lightest fur. This is going to be for the areas of orange, it might look a little whiter now but we're going to change that later on. Repeat the process for the whole body. Make a light grey mix and add more detail to the fur and the white areas of the tiger. Thinking about the form and the structure of each strand of fur as you go, making sure to follow the direction of the fur in the reference photo and leaving plenty of space between each brush stroke to show those layers of fur underneath. Use a very pale orange colour to add more layers of detail to the orange fur. Again, we are going to glaze over this later on so don't worry too much about the colour, just make sure to leave plenty of gaps underneath to show that fur underneath. Next, you can use some burnt sienna to glaze over those hairs to add some of the orange back to the painting. and add a little bit of burnt umber to the mix to add some darker areas, especially near the stripes. For the lighter areas you could even add some yellow ochre to the mix to give it a more yellow tinge, to show the sunlight hitting those spots. Next, using the detail brush, just neaten up those black stripes with a little bit of brown and some black. You can add some darker fur at this point, just glazing with some very runny paint, some darker fur in the orange and white areas of the fur. Next we want to add some of those highlights back in with some white and burnt sienna and a little bit of raw sienna just to show the direction of the fur again and add in some of those detailed smaller regions of fur. Next I use a liner brush just to add some white wispy long strands just in random directions as you'd see in an unkempt tiger. And then finish it off with another burnt sienna glaze over the top. To touch up the stripes I use some black and then some blue mixed with the black and a little bit of white to add some grey hairs over the top. And here's the finished painting, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel, it means so much to us. If you want the full 40 minute video of how I paint tiger fur, please head over to the website and download the link. It costs $9.99. As always, thank you so much for watching. For more wildlife art tips, head over to studiowildlife.com.